Hey, good morning. Welcome to uh, Breakfast with Brian. I'm Brian Barolo, and this is my kitchen table, and I'm having a blueberry muffin, a uh, blueberry bagel. I get from Trader Joe's. It's gluten-free, dairy-free. I'm having this for breakfast. Very simple. And I'm using uh, Wesley Farms almond butter uh, for my bagel. I'm keeping it simple today. And my subject today being elders accidental death yeah i have a story and it's not good and it's unfortunate but it happens i have a couple of things this week friday's going to be another big one so make sure you check back and uh check me out for this some of the things are going through in my life but that's okay anyway i'm just trying to get my bag already hey morning rocco morning kevin how's it going um so anyway, I'm starting my day out. It's not as bad here in Media PA. We're going into a warm-up right now. We just had frigid weather. It was really bad the last couple of days, down the teens, and uh, or less. It was crazy. Um, but the weather's breaking. We got some warmer weather coming in today. It's going to be up into the low 40s, and tomorrow it's hitting 50s, heading for 60. This is January. This is mid-Atlantic weather. It's horrible because it's cold, it's hot, it's cold, it's warm. Now we get more rain this winter than snow, which is kind of okay for me, but, you know, for cleaning up, not for the kids and so forth. But um, I don't understand what it is with this weather. But it is what it is. Now, the hardest thing I think that most people got to deal with is not getting sick because you're cold, you're hot. You're cold, you're warm, you're hot, you know. It's ridiculous weather. So be very careful and cautious with how you dress. You don't overdress or don't underdress. You keep dry because you're up and down. You can get sick really easy. I'm feeling just a teeny bit of it in my corner of my nose. I get cold in your nose almost. Don't quite have it, but um, it's there. So anyway, here we are, Breakfast with Brian in my house. I'm glad you joined me, and uh, I'm going to start my day off with uh, – Water. I drink water all the time. I take water to bed with me. I drink it overnight if I'm up. And then uh, first thing I put into my body is water because I believe in doing. Hey, Dave, the nowhere man. Dave's nowhere man. How's it going, my man? Um, watching your post lately and it's really good. Keep it up. You're doing better and better. It's awesome. I love it. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna do my internal showers. The first thing that I do personally with my organs and getting started by putting food and supplements in my body. Water, water is crucial. You should try it sometime. It's actually really good. It's really good for you. So, hey, Dominic, Mara, how you doing? Glad to see you joining us. Anyway, I'm doing my internal shower. Cheers to you, water. That's good stuff, I'll tell you. It's like a clean wash on the inside. It gets my organs up and gets them going and makes it all better. I've already got energy just from drinking water that quick. It's killer. Okay, before I get into the subject, I'm going to keep going here. I'm going to do my supplements. I do a uh, turmeric. This is a turmeric for coming ginger supplement. It's really good for, uh, for anti-inflammatory and arthritis. And if you have arthritis, like I do, I have a lot of it. Tamaric is the way to go. It's awesome. It's an awesome, awesome, really good for you spice. Okay, and then I have my uh, Centrum Silver, which is just a multivitamin. And then I got some leftover juice I made the other day. It's mostly blueberries and apple and oranges. And I uh, put in some uh, cran raspberry and some orange juice. So anyway, there's what's left of my juice I made this week. It's really thick, but... I poured some orange juice on top, so I didn't, I didn't really mix it up real well, so I'll just use my knife here, I'll give it a nice mix. Hope it won't be as uh, thick, because it was really, really thick, so hey, morning Julie, how you doing? Good to see you. Congratulations on your team again, so, but whatever. <laughs> Rock on, girl. I may not want them to win, but... <laughs> It is. Anyway, it's a friend of mine. It just came on, and she's up near the Boston area and big Patriots fan. So we kind of batter each other a little bit and have fun with it. So it's all good. I'm smiling. I'm happy they made it. I don't want them to win, but that's beside the point. 
I've always been a Rams fan ever since I was a little kid. So one goes without saying, go Rams. Sorry, Julia, I had to do it. So anyway, here's my juice and here's my supplements. Here's my turmeric and my centrum silver and my juice. Ah, that's some good stuff. I'm telling you, I make some killer juice. Okay, I got my bagel here, and I'm ready to go. All right, so my subject today being elders and accidental death. This is something that's really, really sad, and it will affect several of us, especially as we get older. We're all getting older, and death is getting closer and closer to us as we get older, and I feel like my neighbor, he's going to funerals all the time, and I don't understand. Me, I kind of shy away from the funerals. I don't like that. I'm not happy about death and what it takes and all, all that kind of crap. I keep looking to see other people come on. Good morning. Okay. Yep. Go Pats. <laughs> you got it, Julie. Um, so anyway, um, it's not a good thing. Elders will pass. We all will. It's all part of life, of life and death. No big deal. Okay. So as long as you can accept that, you can deal with life pretty much in a good way. But when something happens to an elder by accident and it causes them to pass, that's really, really sad, okay? So anyway, something happened just recently. My parents are already gone, so it's not that. My baby's mom's mom just passed, or my daughter's grandmother is what I will say, because the other day, two days ago, my daughter called me uh, early evening because she just found out that uh, her grandmother passed, her mama passed. Sorry to hear it, but it happens, and it's very unfortunate because I'll, I'll tell you what happened here. She called. She was upset a little bit, but, you know, her grandmom or her mama was getting very, very old, and her health wasn't the greatest. She lost so much weight. She was skinny as a toothpick. And she was aging quickly as she got older and older, as compared to uh, my granddaughter's pop-up. He's got much better health. So anyway, she called me and she explained what happened. They, they live down in Delaware, um, inland from Bethany Beach a ways. And they're in a, a single trailer on a lot, or a house. It's like a double trailer. It's turned into a house. And that's where they've been. That's where they retired two years ago when he retired from working, from teaching. It's a nice little place, double trailer. They fixed it up. It's a home. But there's not a lot of people around. So you would think that if something happens, if somebody's outside, if somebody trips, somebody falls, it maybe hopefully a neighbor will see them and come run over and help or call somebody or whatever. So anyway, nobody, because the first thing somebody asked when I was telling them this last night, yesterday, when I was hanging with a buddy, um, they were both, they're both really old. And she, her health was not that good. It was failing, starting to fail. So she was coming near the end anyway. But that's not where we're going. Something happened <clears throat> yesterday afternoon. Her, my daughter's Amy's mom, 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 pop pop. Her pop pop was laying down. He was taking a nap like he does at a certain time, maybe three to five every afternoon. He goes to sleep. And during that period of time, her mom, mom was either outside and coming back inside or inside and going outside for some reason. Now I scratch my head, they're very old, why are they going outside in zero degree weather? You know, 10 degree weather, it's freezing out there. You go outside and in a minute, like I have rain gnaws and within one minute my hands, my fingers freeze up. So anyway, they're older, she might have been going out for whatever reason. I don't know why she would even have bothered, but that's not the point. She went outside, and either going outside or coming back inside, supposedly she tripped. Okay, now if she tripped, then she fell down. Now, did she hit her head so bad that she went unconscious? Because she couldn't get up. Now, laying there, whether she was conscious or not, and I only pray to God that she was not conscious. Could you, <laughs> you only imagine that? <clears throat> she falls. She's on the ground. She can't get up. It's 10 degrees outside. It's freezing. Wind chill factor is probably zero or below zero degrees. And so, therefore, she starts to go into hypothermia. <laughs> the hypothermia causes cardiac arrest. 
Finally, Pop Pop wakes up, finds her outside, calls the ambulance, they take her to the hospital, they try and they try and they try and they can't revive her because she's done. She had a cardiac arrest due to hypothermia, due to her being so old, and she tripped and was stuck outside. Is that fucked up or what? Well, anyway, even if she had one of those oh, alerts that they sell, you know, for older people, which maybe seriously everybody should have it, carry it. Maybe they should have it on their wrist so it's easier to get to if they can't reach up here. Maybe people should have two of them or an automatic thing. Maybe they should come up with something that, you know, if they fall in that inertia, that that GPS thing that's in that little button there would pick up that movement and notify somebody or an automatic call. I don't I don't know because this was an accidental death, but she didn't die from the fall. She died after the fall. Of what because she couldn't get up because of her health now i don't know we're only praying that she was unconscious and didn't lay there in the freezing weather and suffer to her death <clears throat> sorry sorry folks but anyway i just wanted to bring that up be aware take charge of your elders if you see somebody or you notice that somebody could do something better or you could do something better to keep them from something like this happening to them, do it. Take it upon yourself to do it. <clears throat> it's a tough one. I'm sorry. Sorry. I'm getting all hung up here. But uh, she was a good lady. I had problem, more problems with him than her, but that was over time. Things have passed. Hey, Ryan Morris, Terry Ann, Mike Snyder, how's it going? So, but... Uh, it's my daughter's family, and uh, you know it's moving on, whatever. But anyway, um, be aware. Just be aware of your elders. Look, what can you do? You're younger. You can be more responsible. You can be more aware of what's going on to do anything to help these elders. Okay? Let me get my composure. <clears throat> Take care of your elders, beware, and make sure that there's no way that they can have an accidental death, like that they can't fall down, that there's alarms, that there's people that can see them, that there's an easy access for whatever might happen. Do it. Take it upon yourself and do anything you can to prevent that. Okay? Again, <clears throat> let me get my composure. And uh, I don't mean to be so choked up there, folks, and I'm really sorry, but here at Breakfast with Brian, we want 10 things that will make us happy today. 10 things that we'll be thankful for, 10 things we can be grateful for, you know, any of those, any combination of any and all of that. I'm having a hard time, sorry, but um, <clears throat> I'm glad I woke up. I'm glad my back doesn't hurt. I'm glad I had breakfast. I'm glad I had people coming on to talk to. Uh, I'm glad and happy for a lot of things. I'm going to keep going and try to be thankful for some good things and grateful for some good things. I'm sorry, folks, sir. Okay, also, Share three love shares from your heart. Share with people a little bit of love, whatever it might be. Have a great day. Have a wonderful day. Um, have an awesome day. That looks great. Tear it up. You know, have lunch with somebody. Have coffee with somebody. Share some of your experiences. Meet the new employee. Wish the person who gives you coffee a great day. You know, whatever it might be, try to share a little bit of love. Send some positivity out to there, out to other people that are out there. You know, this helps you with your 10 good things, 10 things you're thankful for. You're thankful that you encouraged that person today. You're grateful that that person helped you out and helped assist you on that project, whatever it might be. 10 happies or gratefuls or thankfuls. Three love shares, share some love. Have a great day. That, it still works. It works tremendously. Do that. And then within your household, positivity, whatever it takes. I say one to two positive comments, not a gun to shoot somebody because you're so PO'd. I've been wanting to do that for a while. But um, one to two positive compliments to the people within your household, even if it's people you're angry with, upset with, get over it, get past those arguments. Stay positive the best you can because that will lead you to a more better positive life in everything that you're doing today and tomorrow and the next day. And this positivity helps you share some of that love which will help you create those 10 happies okay i really appreciate everybody being here and uh taking a moment hey ryan thank you ryan
Del uh, Capo. Sorry, I'm getting ready to shut down here. You might have to rewind to check it out, but um, it happens. So be aware of everybody in your family and everything around you, and you have a good life. Be positive, share some love, and uh, be thankful for what you have. All right, <clears throat> everybody, have a good one. You all take care. We'll see you Friday. Check it out. Friday's going to be a good one. I'm already planning. Ciao. See you down the road.